My name is Gerald Collard, and I've been doing neon for almost uh, 40 years now. We have my own shop. It's called Atelier Neon Family. It's a family because I work with my daughter and with my sister. The invention is attributed to Georges Claude. For the first 50 years, only you could learn neon from Georges Claude's shop that was called Claude Neon. So I had the opportunity to work there with the old timers, the old experts from whom I learned the trade. All right, so uh, we're gonna do this drawing of a finger like that. All the bands will be made in the back like that, but when we flip the neon, we get to see this image. So to measure the distance, I use a soft latex tube. We measure the distance that we're gonna need and we transpose it to the tube. I did this part already. Now we go down again. It doesn't show as much in curves, but in sharp angles, when you bend, the, the glass goes like that and gets thinner on the other side. So we blow to keep a diameter steady so the strength of the glass is not affected by the shrinking of the bend. So that's where we need to... So I leave the hose there because I'm gonna need to blow in it too. Just to give you an update where we're up to now, let's say you could look, you could see how it will look like from front when we're done. But we're not finished, now we have other curves, so we have to go on. You see, for curves, we don't alter the diameter. You know? So I will need to blow for this band. It's called the 180 degrees, and you need to blow. So I start with the cannon burner, but I sort of give it a little ride on the ribbon burner to make sure, and then when I'm ready, I bend my 180 and see why I will blow. Make it all nice. Okay, this I will bring back to the floor. So I will remove this. Just a slight little curve to give more natural stuff. 
All right. Okay. And here, obviously, I won't have enough glass, so I'm gonna need to use another tube. I will hide the splicing, the joint, behind, so you don't see a joint in front in the drawing. I want to clear this part, so what I'll do, I'll measure it. Okay. This is what I need left there. So this one, I'll do this one. They call it glass blowing, but that's not the real glass blowing thing. That's when you have a liquid glass and you blow in it. We are just bending already blown tubes. Well, the tubes are not blown. The tubes are made out of a funnel. The glass melts and it goes around a ceramic rod. So when the glass melts in the funnel, it goes all around it and creates a tube and then it's cooled off and it's cut. But that's industrial uh, manufacturing. For a slight curve like that, we don't need to blow because it didn't affect the diameter. Right now we assemble the the two components. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it up to see 
a bit like what it looks like. Yeah. To make it a light unit, we need to add these two electrodes, one at each end, so that now it can become a light bulb. We need these electrodes to be able to join it to the system that will allow us to put the gas inside to make it a light bulb. Because now it's just a tube of glass, but to connect it and to be able to wire it, we need those electrodes. So that's the last thing we do. When the piece is done, we put the electrodes so that we can bring it to the illuminating phase. Do the same for the other electrode. So as you notice, there are two types of electrode. Like the one I'm doing now, it's the closed one. And the first one I did is the tubulated one as a little tube. So with this tube, we will attach it to the system to process it. So one electrode tubulated and one non-tubulated, closed. This, I will prepare the tubulation to give it an easier angle to uh, access the system. But now to make a light out of this, we need to process it with a system to put the gas inside. Neon is red, argon is blue. We need to suck the air out, clean up the tube, and replace the vacuum with the gas. If you put neon, you get those colors. If you put argon, you get those. So I use this too, but I put neon in it, so it should be pink like that. Okay. Okay, so we're going to need to connect the neon to electric source. We not only vacuum it, but we will heat it up to the same time, warm it up, so that all the impurities, they burn up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. That's uh, 220 Celsius. So I burn the impurities. There is no gas in there, there's nothing, it's just the condensation, the vapors, the dusts, what we call the bombarding process. With the bombarding, the tube gets bigger. So now we cool it so it contracts, being vacuumed in the same time. So what we use is the contraction of the glass plus the constant suction of the vacuum so you obtain like an almost perfect vacuum space in there. Like you see here, I have two bottles of gas. One is neon and one is argon. I will put neon inside because I want pink. And I want to put a certain quantity of pressure, so I will set my measuring instrument. And now I will let the gas inside. The gas pressure is determined by the diameter, so I will put 11 in there. So I'm letting gas in. Okay, so I will remove this from the system. I sealed off the tubulations. Now the gas is kept inside and it's sealed. Should be good for 50 years. Thank <laughs> you.
You can uh, paint the electrodes to give the space between the E and the R and the O and between the letters. So I've been teaching glass in Montreal School of Glass also for 25 years. It's called Espace Vert. It's an old fire station in old Montreal that they renovated to teach glass. My favorite project in the world is the Farin Five Roses sign that we have here in Montreal. When I was a kid, I uh, would live in the townships and when we come back to Montreal, we always see that big sign. And it was like fascination. It was like urban entertainment and uh, modern lifestyle. It was poetry in the night. So uh, I always loved it and I thought I will do this magic neon, but in a creative way. Thank you very much for allowing me to make this video. I really enjoyed working with you guys. Great team. And if you want to see more of the works we've done, we have an excellent Instagram page at neon underscore family and our website at neonfamily.com where you can see hundreds of uh, projects we made. Thank you very much. Thank you.